Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Bastion. I was trying to figure out another game to play, and even though I've played this a few times in the past and really enjoy it, well, I really enjoy it. So I figure, why not give it a try? Plus, maybe I'll follow it up with a few similar games by the same company that I haven't played yet. Probably not Hades, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, very good game this is. Wonderful. I should probably adjust the uh, the audio a bit. I think it's a little loud. Even if the music is absolutely wonderful. There, that'll work. And I have it on the right profile I want. So yes, very good game. Wonderful uh, voice acting from the main person doing voices. Lovely music that I absolutely love in some cases. Great art style. It is a very good game. So why not give it another play? Even if it's been out for a while, who cares? It's a great game. So how about we get us get started on this, shall we? Indeed, let's shall. Normal mode, of course. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Indeed. Lovely that. The world actually building around him. forms up under his feet as it point the way. He don't stop to wonder why. It's just how it is, I guess. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. And now? Yep, it's one of these kinds of games. Roll and bash. Of course, I have to bash it. He sees what's left of the rippling wall. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. Whatever the calamity is. I just love this music. <laughs> that a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of it though. Little damage, but I'm sure I'll get through it, okay? And of course, bash everything, because you get things out of it. The kid just rages for a while. Love the fact that the guy actually responds to what you're doing as well. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Hello! Nice little hit you did at some point. Peter falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Right click, Got yep. Got still to spin up the chamber. Yep, fairly simple there. One range ability, one melee ability. For now. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Which fortunately, very easy to have. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Got him. Oh, hi. The 
It's a wonder the old saloon's still standing. Used to have the nicest view. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. Crystal Barrett. A memento, a fashion accessory covered in soot, holds great value of the sentimental variety. Also holds hair firmly in check. Best hang on to it, just in case. Also a city crest. An identification badge from the old days. All those on official business for the city bear the star of Calombia. It's said to represent warmth, labor, and sacrifice. Is it again? Oh. I already forgot the, uh, the key. How did I already forget the key to heal? F, my mistake. There we go. Into the saloon, then. He sets foot inside one of Salandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking, dude. See him up there. Poor guy didn't last. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. Pretty sure that's gonna be used now. wanted his ashes scattered here. A grisata and blossom, I suppose. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Clang. Shield saves his hide. Counter ability. Oh boy, hi. Bags start turning up for last call. Hi, don't mind me just bashing you down so I don't die. There we go. Got him. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella. That's a lot of them. In front of the kid. Oh shit. Then windbags are playing for keeps. Shit. I'm a little out of practice here. The kid sees the Got him. The bastion out the window. It's okay. a bit of a drop. That was a bit of a thing. Out the window, then. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Well, that'll be useful. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. What long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Got it. All right, swapped out the weapon, but now we got something. I got something else here. The kid something pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. An upgrade material for the breaker's bow. A stretch of Niska, prized by Boyers and Peltfall fans. Peltfall fans. One more reason for the popularity of Niska. Got him. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is the aiming for the kid. That was a bad shot. Whirlwind. 
mighty fast learner. Spinning around to bash things. And black tonics needed for the special abilities, I believe. Distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. Distillery and arsenal. All right. Start with a sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. Now we've got squirt cider, fermented squirt extract with a nose of stale bread and ocean water. Very nutritious. Dread drum. Pungent concoction that calms senses and steadies nerves. Favored by the breakers and other fighting forces. And fetching fizz. Started as a barroom prank, but evolved to become popular with miners and scrap workers. Metallic aftertaste. Cider gives more health. Dreadrum gives extra critical hit, only when full health. And absorbs stray fragments. I'm taking that because that's always a good thing. The arsenal. the arsenal is where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Let's see. Breaker's bow. Versatile ra ranged weapon. These durable, lightweight bows, Kalandi and Breaker divisions, were connoteered to the farthest reaches of the land in the name of their city. Fang Repeater. A munition chamber fashioned from an unlucky beast gives a distinct silhouette to these silent repeating rifles, once favored by Ura hunters. And the Kale Hammer. Heavy-duty hammers such as this constructed Kailandia's famous rippling walls and protected them from elements and foes alike. Not that I'm going to change that. We have a few abilities here. We have the Whirlwind, a furious spinning strike that can damage multiple foes, originally developed by the City Mason's wrecking teams. Dancing Shot, a secret breaker technique that causes an arrow to bounce from target to target. Originally intended only for spectacle, but it proved to have practical uses. And the Bolt Burst, a spiral of bolts that deals damage in every direction. Trappers would rely on this technique in the event they got surrounded. Hmm. Special abilities per weapon. I think we're fine with what we got right now. Ain't got all them. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Okay, got him. I mean, it is a little experience. Fortunately, he didn't last. That one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. Mm. An old ferry barge sends the oh, hi. his way. The bastion's real. Oh, place shit. Now. Made it through that. Looks like we're gonna get some fighting here. Oh boy. Oh, I love this. Oh shit. Better watch his step. God, I love the music. Just gotta clear it out. 
something heavy. It takes a chunk of alloy. A chunk of precious alloy found deep underground. A staple diet of gas fellas, also used in all manner of industry. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Oh boy. Hello! Scumbags. The kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Oh hi! Oh boy, they slow me down. Oh, we got a bunch of these. Oh shit! Oh, that guy's been bashing the walls, bashing the floor about. Oh boy. Heal, please. Rob's a scumbag of his last meal. Come on. Almost got ya. Got him. It puts him out of his misery. Okay. We're getting a load of this. Huh. Little rough, and I think I collected everything, but oh, is there? Nope, that just leads to nothing. Alright. He finds oh the core to the wharf district. Core, eh? He steals the city's heart. Might as well. The kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. Oh, hi. Thank you. I think the entire thing's collapsing. This particular rock stay afloat. Oh shit. Down he goes. Down. Oh. Toward the bastion. I think I missed. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Okay then. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. Well, hello, the stranger. We talk for a spell. Ask about the seal representing the city of Kalondia. Weren't these only meant to be for uniform and identification? There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. Hmm. The core. Ask about the large bluish mineral found in the wharf district. It feels warm to the touch and hums like a motor. What exactly does it do? All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there. Then watch. Crystal Barrett. Ask about what happened to Nacy, the girl who used to peer her, pin her hair back with this. Is she here already? Where is everyone? I try to let the kid down gently. This is the bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Well, unfortunate. <laughs> A core into the monument. Just like that, the bastion comes alive. It starts growing again, growing stronger. The kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. All right, and it looks like we can do something here. The kid ponders what to build. We can build build a distillery or a Arsenal. Distillery. Plans for a facility especially brewed spirits enhance one's natural abilities. Just need a place to build it. The only spirits permitted on the rippling walls are the kind that increase product productivity. In the arsenal. Plans for a facility that stores weapons and secret stills. Just need a place to build it. Kalondian pill or pit pioneers always traveled light, locking up anything they didn't need on hand. I think the distillery seems like the thing I need. Those bonus abilities. Ah, I'm new to this. time to sample spirits from my personal supply. And we got another one. So in addition to those two, we also have Hearty Punch, aromatic beverage served piping hot. According to folk tales, you can almost wake the dead for an extra chance to carry on if defeated and damage surrounding foes. Wear whiskey. 
scentless yet very brisk be beverage of boiled rattletail whiskerer, used to revive pa patients in triage centers. Blah, my words. Large critical chance, but only when unloaded health. And Cinderbrick Stauff. Spicy, nutty at flavors and a dry aftertaste. Very heavy and filling. For a little extra speed when defending. Let's take the extra health. That'll probably be useful. Squirt cider will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. Hmm. You gotta love the way this guy talks about things. Now what does he say if you take any of the others? Maybe he doesn't actually say anything. I guess not. Alright, I'll take that pair. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. So, we've got the Bastion. Home base. To harness the Bastion's power, seek out cores across the city and beyond. The Bastion. Ceylandia's safe haven. Once the highest point in the city. Too bad it wasn't finished before the Calamity struck. The Wharf District. These once busy shipping lanes are now completely gone. The Wharf District. Folks sailed deep into the boundless sea from here. The Breaker Barracks, a proving ground. Here, the Breakers once honed their skill and focus with their bows. The Breaker Barracks. Many straight shooters learn their way here. And the Workman Ward, a core detected. Find it and bring it back. There may be useful supplies here as well. The Workman Ward. Them windbags used to keep the city humming along here. Hmm. I suppose you can take a look at the, bar at the Breaker Barracks. We got a little time. The Breakers used to come here for target practice. They used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. Just a few shots, eh? He's focused. He's armed. And he's off. The perfect shot just happens in a flash. Two. Three, four, five. Got them all. Something stringy, something fancy, and a new ability. Something fancy. A clockwork organizer once used for work and recreation. These springs and sprockets could be put to better use. That's all we got there. Alright. Nice and easily fixed. Perfect. Alright. I almost don't believe it when he says he passed the breaker's challenge. Huh. You sure about that? Ain't always much to say. Hey, I completed what had to be done. You know what? I'm gonna end the episode here. Shorter episode, I know, but I don't want to start a new area and have to stop in the in the middle of it. So, I'm gonna end this episode here. Next episode, we'll head on from the Bastion and see what we can find. Probably find another core and find more stuff to deal with. Even if I kind of screwed up the beginning of the last area by falling off. I didn't realize you ended up falling right back here. Yeah, I thought you had to get to the end. Anyway, next episode we'll move on. Till then, I am Chester44. I'll send in as fly. That is the kid. This has been a Let's Play of Bastion, and I shall see you all next time.